and welcome once again to Red Gaming Tech. My name is Amata. Today is the 4th of October and I have some interesting news for you today concerning SimCity as it has been re revealed by Maxis General Manager Patrick Buchner that a team was created to specially focus on the feature of an offline mode which is something, as you probably know by now, that has been heavily requested ever since the game actually came out and of course suffered all those horrible launch issues and of course many gamers feel that the online mode uh, is unnecessary and they obviously want to be given the option to be playing offline and he did post a official blog and he said quote right now we have a team specifically focused on exploring the possibility of an offline mode I can't make any promises on when we will have more information, but know this is something that many of our players have been asking for. While the server connectivity issues are behind us, we'd like to give our players the ability to play even if they choose not to connect. An offline mode would have the additional benefit of providing room to the modding community to experiment without interfering or breaking the multiplayer experience. However, to go along with the good news that we may be seeing an offline mode in the near future for SimCity, it seems that bigger cities are just not on the cards at the moment. And he said, quote, City sizes have been a constant point of conversation among our players since we released the game. We put months of investigation into making larger city sizes, reworking the terrain maps, changing the routing algorithms of our agent-based system and altering the way that Glassbox processes the data in a larger space. After months of testing, I can confirm that we will not be providing bigger city sizes. The system performance challenges we encountered would mean that the vast majority of our players wouldn't be able to load, much less play with bigger cities. We've tried a number of different approaches to bring performance into an acceptable range, but we just couldn't achieve it within the confines of the engine. We've chosen to cease work on bigger city sizes and put that effort in, into continuing to evolve the core game and explore an offline mode. So there you have it, a bittersweet announcement to say the least. However, while it is a real shame that we will not be seeing bigger city sizes for SimCity, I think that the main thing that people are going to be very happy about, despite that rather irritating news, is that we will be seeing, hopefully sometime soon, an offline mode for SimCity. Now, always online is something that I don't feel is necessary personally if you are going to go with a single player experience and of course not going on with a MMO or something like that. It's personally, I don't think that SimCity really benefited from it. And of course, if it hadn't had those server issues at launch, if it hadn't had that always online requirement, then the launch of this game wouldn't have been quite so disastrous. So personally, I don't, really agree with having always online in these types of games but that's just my personal opinion and this video isn't really the place for me to go off on a bit of a rant anyway there you have it hopefully we'll get a at least a rough release window for when we can expect the offline mode to be coming to SimCity very very soon but at the moment there is at least no suggestion as to when we might get it just that they are definitely looking into how to implement it anyway that is me done for this video I hope you've enjoyed it thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.